everyone, this is Shelly with HeartsOfYourFood.com and today we're going to make you something fun. I know you've seen us make all kinds of fruits and vegetables and you're thinking, where's the fun stuff? Well here it is, we've got some peanut butter freezer fudge for you today and it's real simple, uh, five or six ingredients. Um, we're going to start with some cacao powder. I'm going to put that in the bowl. And we've got some peanut butter. And you can use, um, if you don't have, if you don't like peanut butter, or maybe you're allergic, or you know you just don't want to use store-bought peanut butter, you can use almond butter or macadamia butter or all kinds of good stuff. You don't have to stick with just the peanut butter. If you prefer something else, uh, you know, feel free to use that. And then we've got a little bit of agave here. And agave is a um, a sweetener. It is plant-based. That's why we use it. Um, in the beginning of raw food, I used to eat this quite a bit, but now I just maybe have it once a week or something, if that. Um, the crunch will last, but we're going to add some coconut oil. And coconut oil is a really fascinating food. Um, Two-thirds of the fat in coconut oil is medium-chain fatty acids. And what this means is that this type of fat is easily digestible and converted into quick energy. And because it's so easily uh, and immediately used by the body rather than stored, it's less likely to cause you to gain weight. Um, it actually helps you lose weight. So, um, you know, get get yourself a hold of uh, hold of some. If you don't, if you can't find it in your health food store, you can get it off of our Amazon store. Um, you know, it's an antioxidant. It's antibacterial, antimicrobial, and antifungal. It's got just 101 uses. Um, I use it as a lotion on my skin. I put it in my hair for my frizzies. Um, and you can use it as a facial moisturizer. I even use it on my dogs. When my dogs get little, I have a poodle and he has, you know, scratchy skin sometimes. So I put it on there and it seems to help him, you know, soothe those sores. So we're going to add the coconut oil. And then we're going to go ahead and whisk this up. This is so good. You just pop it in the freezer, and I think it probably takes maybe less than an hour, certainly, to harden up. And then you've got yourself some delicious fudge. And um, I'm not really measuring right now. I'm just going to pour in a little bit of vanilla. Let's use the cap here. It's probably maybe half a teaspoon, a teaspoon, and just a little hint of Himalayan salt, just to make those flavors pop. Go ahead and stir that up. And then what I do is I take a bread loaf pan. I used to have a prettier one, but I break everything. I'm sorry to say. I broke my pretty one, so I'm going to be using this uh, loaf pan here. And I line it with oil. And the trick to this is um, but you have to get your foil kind of smooth, especially in the edges, because it's going to harden up and then the foil might get stuck in the edges and so it will be kind of a little harder to remove from the foil. So you're just going to pull the foil out and then, you know, take it off of there. So what I'm doing is i got some coconut oil spray here. And I'm going to spray this for easy removal. Make sure I get this nice and smooth. Nothing worse than chunks and chunks of cacao in your fudge and what I'll do is I'll just pour this in make sure I get every last drop so good tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup okay so we got it all in there make a mess. and then I take my pecans and I do them last and I know you, you're probably saying, oh my gosh, you use pecans for every recipe. I just happen to really like pecan. You can use almonds, um, you know, whatever nut you like. That'll work out just fine. Pecans, uh, macadamia nuts. I can't think of another nut right now. Okay, that looks like enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, pop it in the freezer and come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so we've taken it out of the freezer. And it's all nice and solid now. Um, I'm going to take it out of the pan. And um, see, it just comes right out, clean pan. And then we just take and 
peel the foil off like it's a giant candy bar. That, or you could actually probably reuse that for the next time you make it if you have some place you can put it. And then just cut into pieces. And then I store this in the freezer because the coconut oil, <clears throat> excuse me, will melt at about 75 degrees. And it was 97 degrees here today. So this will be a, just a melty pile of yuck if you leave it out at room temperature. So store it in the freezer. Um, I've never actually stored it in the refrigerator. I don't know if that would, I guess it would stay solid. I don't know. I just like it in the freezer. So get done here. Thanks for tuning in everybody and please down below like our page, subscribe to it. If we've helped you, help us by clicking those links below and we'll see you next time. Eat something green today.